So, uh, you know, life is short, and the universe is our relation with each other. I don't think it's worth it to to get so serious about each other. I mean, so what I mean is, I guess the word is called em, enmeshed. Enmeshed, but then there is entanglement. See, this is a worry. I could push it off on the Buddhists and, and whatever spiritual values that people have. Really, I mean... But for me personally, it's been a real, it's been a real um, concern. I remember when there was peer pressure and we are teenagers, you know, and, and the thing to do is to get involved with each other. You know, you got to have a boyfriend um, or you are you're not normal there's something wrong with you or, or you just you're not gonna fit in or you, you know and so um, now that I think about it I've always been the one to um, to get involved you know be not because well yeah because partly there's peer pressure but what I would make sure is like, well, um, that I was at least a little bit attracted to the person. Uh, end up being their friend, really, being a good friend, and then end up spending a lot of time with them. See, that's what I would like to um, talk about, you know, is is our relation with each other. I learn a lot from my people that I, that I have spent time with. I mean, they're not perfect weirdos as a matter of fact um, but but I would learn astrology and how to work computers and then other people I would work you know other influences other associations I would learn more it's really just learning about yourself right what your capabilities are they're exposing you to their interests and you have yours they are doing something astrology was number one for me I mean really I mean you know I, I learned that by the time I was I was 14, 15, I was kind of dabbling and studying in it, and, and, and I'm not absent of having a family who's interested in also just dabbling in the higher-minded tools. My mo my grandmother, and I assume her parents were amazing, and everybody's um, grandma and, and grandparents were amazing, because um, back in the day, they were actually learning something of value that they can pass on, but there is, uh, you know, the higher learned mind that learns about learning. And so then there's a skill of skills, and we can get into a religious value, which is a practice of love, and what is that? And really, it's just awareness, right? Awareness being here now. Thanks for listening to this at, at minute um, three. Getting back to... Um, the nightmare, the um, the living hell that I'm looking at. I'm I'm near 50 now, and what I'm looking at, okay. So I I see, and really, it doesn't have to be this way at all. See, I could see that, but I could see another way, and it's like, see, it's not good to turn down a system or a way of living with each other, so, so called relating, unless. There's a reason that, you you know, there's this side and it's like, ah, no, but because I see this possibility over here and how much more richer we can be. And it's not necessarily in materials, but of course that follows because we are moving to a richer place in relation with each other. Say, what is really going on now? I just flashed on astrology again. It's like, if you really want to know if you get along with somebody, find their exact time of birth, date, where on the earth, and do astrology. Find out. Find out what, what those people like to talk about. and What's really going on underneath the surface there. That's what astrology, I mean, boy, if there is any use for it, it 100% is that because it's pointing at the uh, if the human organism, like, you know, when it's born, there's its fingerprint, the astrology. 
and then there's um, everything has its astrology behind it as it's going through the cosmos right now it's part of the cosmos and all of it has this an emanation oneness really astrology is just an esoteric language it's just a a mathematic thing something some science found, figured out how to do this um to symbol symbolologically if that's a word sorry um point out point at possibilities that are infinite and you know i get flashes of a different way of, of not only communicating of course but the way that things the way that things are the way that things work sorry um there is something going on that has even muffled astrology what is really going on it's a wheel type thing and so i know i understand it kind of like okay um music is a wheel very synchronistic very geometric very beautiful Be it's beauty beauty right there as um an expression very unique in and of itself it's a vibrational frequency you know thanks for listening to all of this but you know uh, yeah leaning towards that vibrational frequency and, and what shape it's all in all in um if there is a shape uh you know um getting back to how you feel see the feeling is easy like it's like when you listen to music it just kind of you know muse means mind and an ick, what's that? Ick. It means like, kind of like, okay, so, um, say like there's alcohol, but then you're an alcohol ick. Well, when you're listening to Muse Ick, it, it automatically, if you notice, I'm a musician and I love listening to music and playing it. Playing it is, ama is, is, is very much different than listening to it. But listening to it, you can, you can, um, you can understand where the musician is, I suppose, what, what, is, what they're working with, uh, and it's pretty much a field of information, it's just un unlimited math, and, and if you want to talk about that, it's, it's creating a, um, I would say a gymnasium, <laughs> but really what I m mean to say, because they're performing, and this is a new, a new term that I would like to keep using, is mental gymnastics mental gymnastics see some people are performing that for you and you will see their work through poetry music how about being somebody who knows how to relate with people a good counselor somebody you know who knows how to really move in and out of all kinds of people without being scathed too much they are in their center there is the center you know um that's a skill that was that is acquired through uh, well first of all i think that back see this is what has been swept under the carpet is that you're you are born to do some things some people are born People don't know this and realize this, but you know, you are, you can learn the academic study of cooking, but there are people who are born cooks. Same with music. Same with music. Same with, you know, when you know what astrology points at and how astrology, like what it can do for us here, can we talk about like what we should learn in school a little, little bit, let alone what we have our hands on. Astrology is going to point at it. This is what you like to put your hands on, by the way, because your Mars is here and your Mercury is there and your moon is here and, and, and you, you operate like this. This is what you are built for. See the Libra, I have a ton of Libra with, um, Mercury conjunct Uranus is a very peculiar sign. In Libra, very communicative under the Venus rulership. I have Venus under the rulership of Mercury. So I'm going to be a communicator of some sort. This is very intricate getting into it, but 
in general, a Mercury conjunct Uranus, that's, first of all, that's the aspect of astrology, the astrologer. That's a very interesting mind right there, um, flashing with such insights that people are like, Whoa. and it's like, I don't you know, because your mind, my mind is next to Uranus. It's the light of lights. You know, it's like, I don't know how I know. I just know, you know, and you'll know too, if you just let yourself know, just let it in, let the truth in. Anyway, God, thanks for listening to this. Um, I, um, my heart goes out to people who have en enmeshed themselves with inside of a now, I'm, I would say geometric situation where it's just a trap. It's a maze. It's a trap. You want to talk about like, okay, so I just heard this and I was like, really? I didn't know. Well, I'm a, a, a Libra with also Aries. So it's kind of a challenge for the Capricorn. I kind of, um, I, I understand if there's a warlock there, <laughs> then we're definitely going to find out what's going on. See, I don't budge from being the individual free loving freedom-loving person that I am within myself, you do not trap yourself in relationships or other people. No, you're trapped in the universe already. If anything, share. Well, how how um, are you making it easy? Did you find out that, that it doesn't have to be a trap? The universe, let alone people. Not at all. Nope. Uh-uh. What I'm looking at, I could just see, like, okay, so what is the other way to live, God? Free. Let love live. Nothing falls off the face of the earth. Nothing that we're doing. In fact, it probably holds together better because we don't have marriages breaking it all apart on account of what? The most ridiculous thing. You know? Tom Bradshaw, very good uh, author, um, psychologist, counselor, um, would talk about, you know, philosopher, whatever. All of these philosophies come out of there because it's like, well, are you guys going to take this serious or not? You're taking fiction way too seriously. And now we have to come up with a philosophy that says, well, maybe love knows how to be alone. And, and it's all very vague. It's like, what are they talking about? Everybody's clinging on to each other. It's like, ugh. And the way that that, that fear-driven society who lives a lie, and it just compounds like, oh, don't, don't let them find out that we're all fucking miserable. It's a fucking game of, 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 of um, Who's going to snap fir first at all the misery around there? And when, when normal people like me just snap, and say, it's fucking miserable! They're like, what do you mean? Huh, well, you know, you really got to get your act together. Really, I see people suspended. Just suspended. Yeah, we got married. <laughs> Especially Capricorns. I didn't get around to it. I heard, that, okay, so what they're doing, I had nothing. I, Capricorn to me is like, um, talk about it. <laughs> a, a, a foreign... Okay, so there's libraries over there. It's not even a Capricorn thing. But, but what about the monetary system, babes? We need, we can rearrange that too. That could be rearranged. The rules that it's following. Like, what is behind it? It's too late, babes. It's been centralized. People need... Oh, man. Talk about war. Talk about what's behind war. Money to keep it level, to keep it centralized, right? To keep it, uh, there's that, uh, and we don't have a clue as to what to build a one world order on. What is it? It's an, it's based on it'll making sure that you're imprisoned in your mind and in hell, in fucking marriage, hell. Uh, I was just going to say basically, um, document hell, um, contract hell. The universe is our relation with each other. It is made of expanding and contracting beings. Expanding beings are the ones who are free and, and they are they are loving. They, they um, open up the... They can find out what is actually going on there because they're moving in. They're not moving away. You know what I'm saying? The contracting being is moving away, and that's just the way it is. I mean, 
very tedious subject matter when it comes to love and relating because what do you trust? What do you trust? Trust yourself. Trust the laws of physics. Trust where we are at. The universe. You know, men and women talk about a vibrational frequency just in and of themselves. Not a problem, right? Everybody thinks they're attracted, but would you please slow down and find out what's there, who each other is? People have interests. People have a background, a programming, how they see the universe, how that they're operating with it. When, you know, you don't find out enough about yourself and and being free and really looking, getting that feeling of, you know, it's centered, centered, you're not disturbed, you don't need anything, need anything out there, love doesn't have any need. Then you can be able to feel into other people. You're going for this feeling. A lot of people shy away from that. I didn't just say you're going for an emotion. Of course, the emotions are there, and that's amazing. Master those feelings. You're looking for an overall feeling of life, which is there isn't a single flower, bird, cat, chicken, especially in young children, there isn't a single one of those that will convince you that it's miserable, that it's not fair, that it's, that it's, um, that it feels like shit. No, let them run and let them play and they'll show you this is bliss. In fact, it, 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 it there is nothing like it. Not even an orgasm. I mean, they, some philosophers and gu gurus say, no, you're making love with all of existence now. In fact, all of existence is making love with you. Try to ignore it. Well, you sure can if you're suspended in fucking midair, living in each other's minds, making each other fucking miserable. For how long do you do that? Proud and saying you're what? Married. Woo! No, thank you. No, thank you. No. I fucking break myself free and I break other souls free. My fucking ancestors are free. 